3D text in two minutes. Is that even possible? <laughs> Introducing Adobe Illustrator. Oh, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Shh. This is a 1920 by 1080 pixels artboard, and this is a text that I created with a type tool. If you don't know how to create this text, then why are you even here? With the selection tool, click once on the text, then go to Window, 3D and Materials. This will open the 3D and Materials panel, which includes three menus, Object, Materials, and Lighting. Let's start with Object. Click on it, and then click Extrude. Set the depth as you want, and use this slider to change the perspective angle. Turn on bevel, set the bevel shape as you want. Check this box if you want the bevel to be inside the letters, and play with the width, height, and repeat sliders to create the bevel effect. Scroll down, here on the rotation, let's set X, Y, and Z to zero. Next, click on the materials menu. Here you can apply a specific material to the text, or add custom graphics and you can change its roughness and metallic properties. Moving on to lighting. Here you can use these presets to apply pre-configured lighting effects like standard, diffuse, top left, and right. You can click on this box to change the light color. And you can play with these sliders to control the light's intensity or brightness, I'll set it to 50%, the rotation of the light around the object, the light's height to control the distance between the light and the text, and the softness to determine how the light spreads. Turning on shadows, we'll turn on the shadows, duh, and here you can set the position of the shadows to be either behind or below the object. You can adjust the distance of the shadow from the object, as well as the shadow bounce, in case the shadow is being cropped for some reason. To see how the softness affects the shadow, you can click this button here to render with ray tracing. Keep in mind though that when you enable ray tracing, you will experience lag depending upon the complexity or size of the object. When you're done, click on this arrow to open the render settings, enable ray tracing, set the quality to high, you can check reduce noise if you want, and then click render. When the rendering is completed, you can go to file, export, and export for screens to save this file to a format of your choice. And that's 3D text in Illustrator.